Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm just going to show you a few things I've collected this year. So I started this hobby and later this channel because during COVID it was just really boring and I couldn't really see anyone and uh, I went back to what I enjoyed when I was a kid and that was a lot of action films in particular, uh, Transformers and then you know as you grow up you get into cars and stuff like that and yeah I thought it'd be cool to have some models and yeah, when I was younger, I did enjoy the Transformers films a lot. And then during COVID, I just started getting together different bits and pieces. Um, some were very tricky to get and some were a bit too expensive for what they were. So I just waited. Um, but now, um, after many months, I now have a uh, like mini sized collection of the five main Transformers from the first film and the vehicle modes, which were really tricky some of them to get anyway um, and then I've also got some little human sized figures as well as I got further into the hobby but now you know one of the joys of collecting is putting everything together uh, some hobby hobbyists create like a diorama or a scene which I think looks really cool and, and brings it all to life so you know everything here is from like quite a few different brands so for example uh, well, most of these cars are from the Transformers RPM lines, and they did their own 164 scale uh, vehicles. But this one, this one was really hard to find, and I wanted this one instead of the Transformers RPM one. And this one is like a Tomica Bumblebee. It looks very accurate. It's quite cool. It's got opening doors as well, and it just looks. These are all built out of plastic. But this is die cast, and that that's where my heart really is in this hobby. Um, this is all plastic. There is a die cast version of that, but for some reason it was it didn't come out as nicely. So, um, you know, these uh, Jazz, Ratchet and Ironhide, these are from the Transformers Titanium series. And they're part die cast, part plastic. Uh, and then these two, which you can tell immediately are, you know, much better in quality. These are like the Takara Tomy Metacol figures, which came out really nice. So, and this little cube here, this is on, on a previous video I've reviewed uh, TF, TF Labs who make little little items like that. Uh, sadly, because of the postal strikes, I've, I have got a resin version of the Matrix of Leadership from the second film. But I guess there's no rush because the, this year is the 15th anniversary of Transformers 1. Uh, and it'll be two more years before the second film. So I guess I can save it for for a couple of years anyway. But yeah, I really enjoy collecting a mini scale diorama of all these little figures. Um, gave me something to do during the when you can't do anything during the lockdown, and it just reminded me of you know simple times, nice times, and um, gave me something to do really. Um, so yeah, this is um, this is a part of my collection which I really enjoy, uh, as well as showing you guys new things that I've bought, but you know, putting them together and just having it as a display. That's one of the best parts of this hobby. Uh, and, you know, I'm sharing with you one of the best parts, well, of what I think, um, you know, make, makes me quite chill when I look at it and quite relaxed and it's quite cool. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, these little figures, I will do a review. They're called from a brand called E-Monster and they're available on AliExpress. And I'm going to compare them to these little Diaclone figures later on as 164 scale mini figures. And they're really cool. Uh, I really do like 164 scale because when you have bigger action figures, I don't know, I don't really have the room. So small scale is good for me. I can compose like a big battle scene in a smaller amount of space and it looks just as cool. So yeah, I like, that's why I like small scale things. So um, thanks a lot for the 200 subscribers I've got so far. Um, I look forward to putting out some more videos, but I, just for this one, I just thought I'd show you what, you know, what the what I've been doing myself and what I enjoy the most. Um, as if you subscribe to my channel, you probably know I do. I do love Transformers a lot, and from that, I started to like cars a lot because of all, you know, the choices that the film producers made what cars they turned into once you start getting into that side as you get a bit older you know uh it makes me enjoy it a lot more and because the different sides of it as well 
So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment below uh, if, uh, you know, let me know your thoughts on the cars from the Transformers films that you might like. Um, what you're hoping to maybe see in the future, in another, in the future, um, R R uh, Rise of the Beasts film next summer. And um, see you next time.